Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the switch function. So I've got some data on the screen. In column A, I've got some dates. Then I've got two examples of the switch function. The first one is telling me what day of the week it is. The second one is telling me what month it is. And the formulas I'm going to use are sitting up there like so. Then I've got this one over here where if I tick this little box, um, just put that off. I tick this little box, it's going to say true, and then that's going to say complete. That is the switch function. So I'm going to repeat these for you very quickly. I'll come down here, do the key command for today's date, which is control semicolon, get myself a few dates. I'll just get three dates like that, the first one. So if I do the the day of the week, I'll use the switch function. I'm going to use the weekday function. I'll just show you what that does first off. Equals weekday. Click on the cell and just press enter on that. It's going to tell you what day of the week today is. Today is a Monday, Sunday being day one. So what I want the switch function to do is tell me what the day is actually like that. So if it's a one Sunday, if it's a two Monday, etc. So if I delete that, type equals switch, open the bracket. So that, but now I need to do um, the weekday function. <coughs> so what I want to do is use the switch function and the weekday function together. So it's going to be equals switch open the bracket on the switch and then the weekday function week day and then i'll click on that cell i won't do the whole week i'll just do four three so d9 comma if it's a one comma it's a sunday and you've got to put that in quotes comma if it's a two so if the weekday returns a two comma it's a Monday, which is what it's doing now. If it's a three, comma, it's a Tuesday. And I'll just do one more, comma. If it's a four, comma, it's Wednesday. Close the bracket, press enter or click the tick. Comes back with Monday. Pull that down, and there you go. Now, some of you will say, well, you could do this, and I will do it. I'll show you what you could do. I'm just showing you how the switch function works there. But I could, if I wanted the days of the week, just do this. Equals, click on the day, and then just press enter on that to get the date, and then pull those three down. I could then right-click, format cells, or do control one look, format cells, and just change this to three Ds down the bottom there. And that will do exactly the same as what the switch function is doing. It gives you the days of the week. Just delete those off. Now, the other one is using the switch function to tell you what month it is. And again, I could do MMM, three Ms there. But let's go over here and do this one. So if I go equals switch, open the bracket on that. And then I'm going to use the month function. Month function. Will just tell me what month it is in that cell there which is d9 which i can't actually click on so i'll have to type it so month d9 and i've only got um july which is seven but if i'll just put seven comma july i'll do six as well for two six comma and june you just have to do the whole lot i'll just do that one for now so it's telling me that's july now, all of these are going to be July. If I change this one to June, that the switch function will say June. So that's what that does. And again, I could have done the same formatting as I did before in using Control 1, get into format cells and do that. But this is the switch function. Now, this one is using a sticky box, which normally would say false if it's not selected, and true if it does. So I've got the switch function just saying complete or not. So what I'll do is show you how I've done this. You need to go to tools. You need to go into design mode. 
and you need to get yourself a little tick box and you just draw it wherever you want it to be just put it there and then if i right click on that you can go into control properties and then you tell it what cell you want it to be in so i'm in f8 so cell link is going to be f8 and if i just go onto this general tab you can get rid of the label there i don't want it to say anything and let's close this off and then you need to knock off design mode and then when you tick that it's going to say true so if it says true i want the switch function to say complete so again it's going to be equals switch open the bracket if you're not in that cell comma so if it's false it's a zero i want it to say not complete so if fa is zero comma not complete if it's a one which is true that wants to say complete like that close the bracket take that one see what that looks like oh, done a typo there we go so take the tick off not complete tick on complete and then you can click into that cell if you want and just get rid of the font color hide the font color so you're just ticking that on it's coming with that now i know you can do an if statement before somebody jumps on the comments and says that but i'm trying to show you how you can utilize the switch function so that's all i want to talk about in this little video how you can use the switch function to change the end product based on a result so hopefully that video has been of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you on the next one